Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be showing you how to make this little drawer system back here. And I actually made it with stuff that I found at the dollar store. It cost me around $15 plus the cost of spray paint. So if you wanna know how to make this cute little drawer system, uh, just keep on watching. These are the little drawer units that I'm going to be using. Uh, each unit has two drawers and I got these at the dollar store and here I have 15 of them they hold a lot of stuff these are my A2O lab blushes from shopmissa.com and they fit perfectly in here I also have a Too Faced blush and some Tarte blushes. The compacts are bigger, so even those fit in here. So any smaller makeup items that you may have, these drawers are a really, really good way to organize them. Here are some highlighters. And those two drawers, I have them already stuck together. So this is the glue that I use, it's the E6000, and I use the one that has the smaller nozzle on it. The larger one actually wastes more glue and makes it a lot harder to kind of put the glue where you need it to go. So I definitely recommend getting the smaller tube. I believe that's 2.7 ounces as opposed to the four ounce bottle, but this one works a lot better. So I'm going to start off by taking the top off, and these work just like the larger Sterilite uh, drawers that you see like at Target or Walmart. You can pull them apart and stick them back together into any configuration that you want. So I took the top off and I'm taking out the drawers. Then I'm going to attach another unit, and they just click right together. and then I'm just setting aside the top. So you wanna just repeat that process and I'm going three units up and then I'm making five stacks of three units. And here I actually put them together backwards. You wanna make sure that the curved part goes to the curved part um, and not with the straight part. So you can actually take them apart and just click them back together. It's very easy if you end up putting it together backwards. So that's what it should look like. These are not attached yet. Our next step is going to be to apply the glue. So I did not sand these or anything. I am just doing it just how they are. So you wanna put glue around the perimeter and then on each rung in between. And we're also going to be using those plastic clothespins from the Dollar Tree. And that's gonna be at the end to help hold them together as they dry overnight. So you wanna take your glue and go around the edges and you don't want to put too much glue because it can drip so a thin layer of glue is best also when you're putting the units together if you put a very thick layer of glue it will come out and it may prevent some of your drawers from sliding so using a thin layer of glue is probably the best uh, the best way to do this And this glue is pretty thick. I actually made two of these units and didn't have any problems with it uh, dripping or leaking onto any of my furniture. So you do wanna be careful that you're not putting too much glue. And I also didn't really use anything to level them. I kind of eyeballed it and then as the glue got a little bit more set, I went ahead and 
readjusted anything that needed to be moved. And I just laid them on their side so that gravity could kind of help with the glue setting and also so that the glue wouldn't run down to the bottom. So you're just gonna repeat this process um, on each level. So you'll put the glue around the perimeter and then on each little piece in between and then you will add your next unit on top. So here is what it looks like when it's all put together. And you want to use those clips to keep the pieces together while the glue is drying. It'll just give it a more seamless look. So here we're taking it outside because I'm going to spray paint these. And I just took a very large piece of cardboard and set it on top of some stools to give me an elevated surface to paint on. And here are my drawers. I was going to paint them, but then I decided not to. And I removed the little handles so that I could put that, them back in randomly. The paint I used is Krylon Color Master, and this is a paint and primer in one. It's a white gloss paint that is specially formulated for plastic. And when you're painting, you want to make sure that you give yourself a little bit of extra time to put on two coats of paint. And the reason for that is if you have any globs of paint, it will prevent your drawers from sliding properly. So you wanna give yourself a little extra time to be able to put on those two thin layers of paint. It will also allow the paint to dry more evenly and it'll look better. So here is the finished product. So I am storing my lipsticks in here right now, and in the first drawer I have some Maybelline lipsticks. And in here I have some Rimmel, some Bella Pierre, CoverGirl, and L'Oreal lipsticks. Then these are Wet n Wild and Bite Beauty lipsticks. These are Wet n Wild Balm Stains. You can also use this for liquid lipsticks, so that's my L'Oreal Infallible. These are ColourPop liquid lipsticks. These are from A2O Labs. And these are all my little sample size. So you can use these to store a whole lot of different things. You can use it for automotive. You can use it for office supplies. Really anything that fits in the drawers, you can use it to store. So I hope you guys like this video and like this little DIY project. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.